Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. Times are tough and we need to look for ways to make money without losing money at the same time. And I totally understand that because I've lost money in several businesses and it sucks. The best way to not lose money would be to get a job and for the majority of the time, you'll be comfortably getting a paycheck every month, assuming that you could get the work done and be a good employee. And there's nothing wrong with that. And the reason why I didn't say 100% of the time is because things could happen. You probably won't be at the same job a decade later or something happens to the company or mother nature just decides to put everyone out of work. Hey boss, I don't feel too well. Yeah, I took a whole year off. So in order to make money without money, you're going to have to sacrifice something and that's going to be your time. This is similar to having a job, you sacrifice your time and you get paid for it. But I'm assuming you click on this because you don't want to look for a traditional job and have a boss over your head. Instead, you want to be your own boss and work without a cap, but at the same time, don't want to lose money. So if that's the case, I got you. But I recommend you finding something that you like to do and do have a passion in it so it doesn't seem like it's going to be a job. I work more than 70 hours a week on my time and I don't have to clock in or clock out because I like what I do, which is marketing, consulting, real estate, and investing. And I still find times to make YouTube videos the learning experience that you get will be valuable later on and if you like what you do, it won't feel like work. I know it's cliche, but trust me, once you get there, you'll understand. So here's five ways on how to make money without money. Number one, start flipping stuff. Now, before you start saying, don't you need to buy the item first in order to make money? That's absolutely not true. You can start flipping your own stuff around your house, the stuff that you don't want anymore. But let's say that you wanna keep all of your stuff that you don't wanna sell them. You can go onto the Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist free section, or offer up to flip the free stuff. People will literally give away things for free on these sites and you can flip them risk-free. I had $200 a day flips before and I mainly flip furniture because there's good profit margin in them. If you're curious on how I go about it, I have a step-by-step -step video that shows you my entire process all for free, nothing to sell you. Link is down below if you wanna check it out. Number two, become a content creator or a curator. Like Gary Vee would say, posting is free. It doesn't cost you a penny. If you want to make money, post the things that you're passionate about so it doesn't seem like it's work for you. For example, on TikTok, you could just randomly blow up like Bella Porsche without knowing how to edit. You can just hit record and post and when you start getting traffic, drive it to YouTube and start growing your YouTube channel or start selling your own handmade products or affiliate products. Now, this isn't going to be a walk in the park like anything else in life. It's going to take some time to grow, especially when you're not putting money up Front. When I started making my own informational based YouTube channel, I just used iMovie to stitch video clips and images together and upload it on YouTube. Now I have a system in place for that now and it makes me about $1,700 per month passively. If you want to check out that video, link is down below as well. Also, if you don't know, creating an Instagram theme page or meme page could be a good side hustle. Once you get your account to five digit followers, business owners will start reaching out to you to do story shout outs or posts or you could flip Instagram theme or meme pages for money. If it's big enough, you too could be like Daquan and get $85 million from it. I'm just saying. Number three, rent out your stuff. This could be renting out your house, your room, your car, your equipment, and even your clothes. Now this works extremely well in bigger cities because there's a lot of people wanting to rent from you. Smaller cities, not so much, but this is practically free. You just sign up for a free account and start listing your stuff. For example, there's Airbnb for houses and rooms and Turo for cars. Number four, drop servicing or subcontracting. This is basically hiring someone else to do the work for you or just outsourcing the work to someone else and you make the difference. I'm mainly speaking in terms of tasks that can be done online like website building, content marketing, graphic designs, and many other online stuff that you could do. So here's a simplified example. If someone wants to build a website for their business, you can go in and say, hi, I can help you with that. And you can charge them $500 for it and then you outsource it to someone else who can build it for cheaper, maybe $200 and you make the difference. Finding someone to do the work is easy. There's sites like Fiverr and Upwork and that can easily help you with any digital tasks you need. So now you're gonna be thinking, can't someone just go directly to the website like Fiverr and Upwork to help them? They can, but not everyone knows about these sites or they just might want someone to get a hold of easily and see face to face to build that report. That's why you're going to help them and you can offer them a variety of services 
even though you don't know how to code an app. Number five, create a course. Now, before you click away because you think it's too hard, don't just yet. The course could be on anything that you're passionate about, skillful at, or just knowledge that you have. It could literally be anything as long as it follows the website skyline. You can teach underwater basket weaving if you wanted to. For starters, you can upload your course to Udemy or Skillshare. They are basically free and on some websites, they'll even promote your courses for you. If you're just starting now, I recommend Skillshare since you get paid based on how many minutes people watch your video. Whereas on Udemy, it's by the course sold and sometimes Udemy can mark their course at a lower price. I'm not sponsored by them, I just want to throw these websites out there to help you get started. This can be a great form of passive income since the course will be there making you money from time and time. And remember the second point, posting is free. It doesn't cost you money, just your time. Overall, I hope you can invest some time into one of these five tips and start making money. I've listed them in a way that they are creative and risk-free so you have nothing to lose besides your time. But when you start doing the things that you like on your own time, you'll feel happier or maybe that's just me. So if you like this, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to learn more ways on making money or hear me talk about investing in general. I'll catch you all later.